My name is Leslie and I'm Artfully Whimsy. I really enjoy making fabric bowls and you can make one in a couple of hours and they make excellent gifts for friends. So let's get started. Today's tutorial is all about how to make fabric bowls, specifically how to cut your fabric. Let's go take a look. What you're going to need is a cutting board, a cutting ruler, and your rotary cutter. Now, as you'll notice, I'm left-handed, so everything I'm going to be doing is left-handed. If you're right-handed, do it the opposite. First, pick out a piece of fabric that you think will make a pretty bowl. I really liked this fabric, and I thought um, rather than having coordinating fabrics with it, this would make a great bowl with just one piece of fabric. Now, the one thing that I've learned, and what will save you the most time, is always cut your fabric on the bias. Trust me, you will thank me later. So let's take a look at how you do that. The great thing about fabric bowls is that you don't have to iron this material. It doesn't matter if there's wrinkles in it. It's perfectly fine. The wrinkles aren't going to matter. So I've taken this piece of fabric and it's folded in half and the selvage edges are here at the top. In order to fold the fabric, I'm going to take this corner where the two selvage edges are meeting together and I'm going to fold it over so that it makes a diagonal. What this does is it creates your bias line. So here's the bias of this fabric. Now I'm going to take it, and it, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to take it and fold it again. So now I have this triangle. And again, this is my bias line, so I want to remember that this is where I want to cut. So I've got this all nice and folded nice and neatly. Um, I don't care about my edges because I'm going to trim that up later. It doesn't really matter. All right, let's take a look at how to cut the fabric. So we have our triangle and this still is my bias line. What I've done here is I've lined this up against the line on my cutting board and then um, here's this line here and I've put it just beyond that because what I want to do is I want to cut off this piece that has the folds because we don't want to use that. So I'm going to take my ruler, line it up against the line, take my rotary cutter, and then cut that fold off. You don't want that. So that's trash. Uh, now I've got a perfect line here along the ruler line on the cutting board. I've found that cutting the strips at three quarters of an inch is the perfect width for wrapping the cord. Um, it seems like half an inch is way too small and one inch there tends to be, as you overlap it, um, it tends to bunch up. So three quarters is the perfect length. Um, the other great thing is you don't have to be absolutely perfect on this. So I'm going to line this up for a three quarter strip. But if it's off on the top or the bottom, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be overlapping the fabric as you coil it anyway. So I'm going to cut this strip. And that's a three quarter inch strip. And now I'm going to cut this all the way across. Here we go. Now, before we're done, we want to cut all the diagonals off of these fabric strips. When you go to wrap the fabric around the cord, you don't want a diagonal. It's easier if you have a straight line. This doesn't have to be done with precision. It's literally a matter of just cutting it off. And you'll have different links in there, so you want to make sure that you've cut them all. As you can see right here, there was a little piece there in the middle that still has a diagonal, so I'm going to pull it out and cut it straight across. Um, you can do this very quickly. You don't need to be precise. Um, it's actually kind of freeing if you aren't precise because as you know with quilting you have to be really precise on your measurements. So this is actually kind of fun. So here we go. All right, so now we have all of our three quarter inch strips. They're all cut on the bias and we're ready to start wrapping the cord. What I like to do is put all of my strips for one project into a little bin. Um, that way I can save it for later. I have been known to cut several projects at one time. That way when I feel like if I want to work on some blues and greens, um, I can just pick up these strips and start wrapping cord. 
Uh, maybe I want to start on something with some golds and burgundies and that's what I feel like for the day. So I already have these cut. I don't have to do it later. These are the ones that we cut on this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed learning how to cut your fabric on the bias. On the next tutorial, we'll take a look at wrapping the cord. Thank you for joining me.